हेलो डे स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू क्लैरी कंसेप्ट अनलेशन कंसेप्चुअल लर्निंग फॉर मोर कंसेप्चुअल वीडियोस और इंजीनियरिंग सब्जेक्ट्स यू कैन लॉग इन टू आवर वेबसाइट डब्ल्यू 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 डॉट क्लैरी कंसेप्ट डॉट कॉम ऑल राइट सो टुडे इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द फ्लूड प्रेशर सो वॉट एक्जैक्टली इज दर विद इन द फ्लूड एट अ मोलिकुलर लेवल बिकॉज ऑफ विच इट इट हैज अ प्रॉपर्टी कॉल प्रेशर एंड ऑल्सो वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ Uh, you know uh, representations in which pressure can be represented so it is absolute pressure gauge pressure and vacuum pressure so these are the three uh, representations normally in which students get lot of confusion so let us uh, unleash this concepts and talk about fluid pressure okay so basically what is fluid pressure so let's say if i talk about in a simple sense i have a container and in this container i have a fluid field okay any fluid now when i talk about fluid fluid is inherently uh, made up of several molecules which are moving randomly here and there okay now when i ask you to measure pressure of this fluid what you will do you will simply try to mount a pressure gauge on the one of the wall of this particular container and then it shows some reading my question is what does this reading shows to you now see if you talk about molecular level at a fluid i mean there are a lot of molecules moving here and there now the pressure gauge has a surface which senses the pressure of the fluid now what exactly is the pressure that surface is impacted by molecules of the fluid and due to the collisions right now the pressure that the pressure gauge is measuring is nothing but that impact force so that impact force on molecule is moving here and there the average number of molecules when collided on the surface on the surface of the pressure gauge it creates the impact force and the value of that impact force per unit area is given by that uh, property called pressure so what is pressure pressure in a fluid the pressure in a fluid at any point represents the impact force on the surface due to the molecular collisions per unit area so basically pressure is nothing but the uh, impact force that molecular collisions has due to molecular collisions per unit area clear it has a unit called newton per meter square because it is force per unit area or you can also measure the pressure in terms of pascal now let me ask you one question can pressure goes to zero pascal can it be zero pascal this could be zero pascal when when the impact force will be zero now when can an impact force be zero when there is no molecular collisions now when there is no molecular collisions when there are no molecules present in the in the, in the liquid now when there are no molecules present in the fluid there is no meaning of fluid present in the container right that means when the there is no presence of any molecule that means when it is when it is absolute vacuum in this condition you will have the zero pascal pressure isn't it so absolute zero pascal pressure it means the there is a total vacuum in the container and there is no molecule present at all right now let me ask you a question our earth is surrounded by a layer of atmospheric atmosphere right our earth is surrounded by a layer of atmosphere whatever air we have over here it is it is an it, 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 it has particular gases and all right so do you think it it also has a pressure yes answer is yes our atmosphere also has a pressure so our skin is face, uh, facing the pressure on our there is a atmospheric pressure that is uh, you know mounting on our skin so if you look at this very closely it also has several molecules moving here and there it has oxygen it has nitrogen and other gases right now if i ask you what is the atmospheric pressure the atmospheric pressure value at mean sea level is measured and it is about 101325 pascal it means at the mean sea level the the impact force is 101325 newtons over 1 meter square area due to the molecular collisions that are present in the air clear now if i try to draw this particular number on the graph so let us say i have an absolute zero pressure line over here so this line represents the zero pascal pressure and if i want to represent this pressure that is atmospheric pressure i will draw a vertical line and somewhere over here i would say there is an atmospheric value of pressure and therefore this length from here to here will represent 101325 pascal clear this is an atmospheric pressure line now let me ask you a question most of you go to uh, you know uh, service center or the bikes service center to feel the air in your uh, tube right and many a times when you want to make sure the appropriate amount of air is filled or not you try to measure it using a pressure gauge when you mount it it is said that uh, normally in the bike 35 to 40 psi pressure should be maintained right now psi is what it is what it is pound per square inch right it is basically unit of pressure pound per square inch but if you want to convert this into pascal 
this will give you 275790 pascal right so this is the pressure that the air should have within your tube now when you remove this what will happen this will show you zero pascal my question is this sensor is still open to atmosphere then why this is showing you zero pascal it should give you atmospheric value na? because this is open to atmosphere it should measure the atmospheric pressure but no this devices whatever devices are made they are all measuring the pressures of the fluid keeping atmosphere as the reference now when i say keeping atmosphere as the reference it means they are calibrated to measure atmospheric pressure as the zero pascal so that means this 40 psi or rather this pascal is the pressure within the bike's tube that value basically is what so pressure inside the tube is basically 275790 pascal over and above atmospheric value so if i want to plot on this graph the tube's pressure the tube pressure will be somewhere over here why you see tube pressure somewhere over here that means it, it should be 275790 pascal over and above atmospheric line right this pressure now what does it mean now if i want to measure the same pressure from the absolute zero line what can i say i will have to simply uh, you know i will have to simply uh, take the addition of these two numbers this plus this will give me this number now that means the pressure inside the tube is this pascal as well as this pascal now when i talk about this much pascal basically so this pascal is measured from the absolute atmospheric reference line and this value is measured from the absolute uh, zero pressure line now both of them are correct when somebody say you the tube pressure is this much pascal so this basically is the value called gauge pressure remember this thing so gauge pressure basically is nothing but when you measure the pressure of any uh, fluid uh, for, with a reference from atmosphere and that value is known as the gauge pressure and if you measure the pressure i mean measure means what if you represent the pressure of any fluid from the absolute zero pressure line and that is called the absolute pressure simple right so if i want to represent the tube's pressure i could write that tube pressure is equals to 275790 pascal but then i need to put it very clearly that it is a gauge pressure that means people can easily understand that this 275790 which is this value that is the so the pressure inside the tube is this much pascal above atmospheric that is what it is interpreted right and if you want to represent that from absolute zero you can say that it is 377115 pascal absolute that means people can easily identify with this word that this much is the actual pressure of the uh, of the air filled in the tube from the absolute zero line right now if i if somebody ask you water pressure uh, inside any pipe is 1000 pascal your straight away question to them should be this 1000 pascal that you are talking whether it is gauge or absolute then if they say it is a gauge value for example right so then you can easily understand that gauge value means uh, pressure within gauge pressure within the water pipe is 1000 pascal that means the pressure within the water pipe is 1000 pascal above atmospheric so if i want to plot that what i will do i will use atmospheric line i will take 1000 pascal above that so this gauge is 1000 and then i will draw the line of water pressure so now if i want to measure if i want to represent the same pressure the same pressure from the absolute zero line then what i will do i will add this value and this value simple so i could say the absolute pressure should be equals to atmospheric pressure plus gauge pressure atmospheric pressure plus gauge pressure and this is the final formula many and people are using this but they are not aware why from where this formula has came out so if so if you have the absolute pressure and if you want to calculate gauge pressure you have to subtract atmospheric pressure from absolute so p gauge should be equals to p absolute minus p atmospheric you can do it other way around also right p absolute minus p atmospheric should be equals to p gauge why because many times you need you need to if you have the absolute pressure you want gauge you have to subtract atmospheric value from that if you have gauge if you want absolute pressure then you have to add atmospheric value just remember this graph in mind whenever there is a gauge you plot the atmospheric line and just mark that much value above atmospheric and then see if i want to measure this this value pressure from the absolute zero what i will have to do clear so in this case i will take take the addition of both of this number and i will get 102325 pascal that this is absolute value of the pressure of the same water pipe so the pressures pressure is same pressure is no difference but the way it has been represented is it has a different meaning that's it so in one case 
it is represented from the absolute uh, zero line. In another case, it is represented from the atmospheric pressure line. Simple. Clear? Now, when I when somebody asks you that uh, I have a water pipe and when a vacuum gauge is attached to the water pipe, the reading that vacuum gauge shows you is 1000 Pascal vacuum pressure. Now, what does this mean? It means that again vacuum pressure are also measured from the atmospheric reference line but the condition over here is that vacuum pressures are normally measured from the atmospheric reference lines which are with the, with the fluids which has pressure below atmospheric. So for example, this 1000 Pascal means the pressure inside the pipe is of such an extent that it is 1000 Pascal lower than the atmospheric pressure. So if I plot this atmospheric pressure line over here, so pressure inside the water pipe will be 1000 Pascal lower than this. So if I plot this line 1000 Pascal lower than this, okay, I will get the water pressure over here, somewhere over here. Now if I ask you to identify what is the absolute pressure of this water pressure, then what you will do absolute pressure is somewhere over here. So this value is what? It is atmospheric pressure minus vacuum pressure. So therefore, absolute pressure will be atmospheric minus vacuum pressure. So remember this equation also because this is also very much useful in day to day uh, life because uh, whenever you have the vacuum pressure with you and if you want the absolute pressure, you have to subtract vacuum pressure from the atmospheric value. Remember this particular graph and you will get this equation. Vacuum means the pressure is measured from the atmosphere but lower than that, I mean below that. So if somebody says pressure is 2000 Pascal, that means pressure is such that it is 2000 Pascal lower than atmosphere, right? So you have to come down. You are getting my point? The actual pressure value is this only. The actual pressure value is absolute one only. But why do you represent it from atmospheric line? Because atmosphere for you is as a reference. So when you want to imagine, when you want to feel how much pressure will be there in a pipe, when somebody says that it is two times atmospheric or when it is three times atmospheric or when it is my, uh, 1000 Pascal vacuum, you can easily understand and feel that it is the pressure will be lower than atmospheric, greater than atmospheric, I mean how much extra pressure would be there. Just by looking at the numbers of absolute value, you cannot imagine the value by because for you, these numbers are not regularly coming into picture. For you, atmosphere is regularly uh, uh, coming into picture, right? So you can easily compare the value of pressure when you talk about the atmosphere as a reference. That's why vacuum and gauge pressure came into existence. So, that, as I said, vacuum pressures are normally used to measure the pressure uh, below atmospheric pressures, right? So, now this is the final chart. I am drawing you the values. This is the atmospheric pressure line. Vacuum pressure is always measured below atmosphere. And if you want to measure the absolute pressure of this line, simply you have to take absolute zero as the reference. And you have to subtract the vacuum pressure from absolute. Talking about the gauge, gauge is also measured from the absolute uh, zero, I mean uh, atmospheric pressure line. But the gauge pressure are measured normally for the uh, for the pressure which are above atmospheric pressures, right? So, and if you want the absolute value of that, you have to add atmospheric value with the gauge pressure to get the absolute values. You getting my point? So, I hope uh, you understood this concept. Now, let me conclude the session with one question. Is it okay to say that at atmospheric pressure is zero Pascal gauge? What is your conclusion? Is it okay to say that atmospheric pressure is zero Pascal gauge? Let me talk about the previous one. Atmospheric pressure gauge is this value. If I put gauge equal to 0, this line will come down to atmospheric line. So then the answer should be yes. You can easily say that. Is it okay to say the atmospheric pressure is 0 Pascal vacuum? Let us see. 0 Pascal vacuum means this should be 0. That means that this should be 0. That means this line again come back to this line. Then your answer is yes. And finally, is it okay to say the atmospheric pressure is 101.25 Pascal absolute pressure? Now this is absolute, so you have to you have to measure this value from absolute zero line. So if you start measuring the value of this from absolute zero line, you will end up with this line again. So you your answer to all these three questions are yes. Now you got this, the same pressure, the same atmosphere, but it has three different way of representing the pressure. Pressure is one and the same. Pressure is nothing but the average uh, impact force by molecular collisions per unit area. Nothing else. It should have same meaning. But the way it has been represented, quantified is different, looking at the difference reference level, that's it. Clear? I hope you understood this concept. For more such conceptual videos on engineering concepts, you can log into our website www.clariconcepts.com. See you soon in the next class. Thank you so much.